Hey guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be cleaning up a 20 inch pair of groove joint pliers from Dymaloy and we're also going to be cleaning up a little 4 inch pair of slip joint pliers from Dymaloy. I want to get these cleaned up and thrown in my collection. I've also got to rearrange my Dymaloy collection so I'll put that in the film too. So I say without any further ado, we jump right into it. Let's go. All right, so these aren't in terrible shape, but there is rust all over them, like these little slip joints you can see. Um, I want to get these cleaned up, oiled up, protected, uh, grips cleaned up. These grips are pretty sticky. They're covered in some nasty stuff, and uh, yeah, they just need a pretty good servicing. So let's start on this. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, there's a lot of rust in there. So we'll get these cleaned up. Guess that pretty good, didn't I? For some reason, I just like using a adjustable wrench on these. A lot of people have different methods for taking these off, but uh, as long as you're adjustable seated properly, there's no reason why you can't use it. Now, there should be a washer. Yep. All right. Yeah, these aren't too terrible either. So, this is gonna be a real easy cleanup, I think. Shit. Let's just go. Alright, I just put some finishing polish on here and uh, just going to rub the streaks off from using the buffer. That's all this does. It's just giving it a nice even clean. Thank you. 
I mean, I probably could throw it on the buffer with this on here, but there's no reason for it. Cool. Got that done. Go for the big side. I still got to clean the grips off. You guys are probably going to laugh at me when you see what I use to clean the grips. But it works pretty good, so. Let me finish cleaning this up and I'll show you what I'm going to do for those. I like to use scrubbing bubbles. Works real good. It emulsifies the junk that's on there. And, uh, you know, it breaks up grease and all sorts of stuff like that. And it doesn't damage the grips. And it makes the shop smell nice and fresh don't need much on the little ones this can will last like a year you're not using much of it but you can see it's starting to work right now Oh yeah, it's getting there. Gonna need another. Gonna need another spray on it. Look at that side. Where's that? They'll come out pretty good. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll uh, clean these up and we'll get back to reassemble. All right. Well, the handles came out fantastic, nice and clean. Quite happy with that. The metal, of course, came out nice, super shiny. Uh, I said we start putting these back together. I'm just wearing latex gloves so I don't leave fingerprints all the way over my fresh clean metal here. Beautiful. Great working order. Sweet. Tighten that just a little bit more. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now that the little guys Things are so damn tiny. Sweet. Oop, too tight. Nice. Again, the handles came out real nice. Those scrubbing bubbles do amazing on these grips. They really do. Alright. 
So as you guys can see, we got both pair cleaned up. And uh, I think it's time to relocate and uh, we'll start putting these on the wall in my Dimaloy collection. So let me get reset up for that. All right, so what I'm thinking is something like this. I'm just not quite sure how I'm gonna hang these. guys so what do you think the uh, dime alloy wall is looking a little bit better um, at least I got my groove joint pliers displayed now instead of just sitting in a pile I am missing the number 12 and I am missing the 6 inch um, I will find them eventually but uh, you know it is what it is Got a nice pair, two nice pair of nippers, a couple of diamond caulk and horseshoe, horseshoes. Uh, got a real old pair. These are, uh, I believe it says uh, HP or HR210. Old pair of uh, groove joint pliers. Dimaloy wire pliers. Duluth. This is uh, MC18. Those are pretty cool. Nice little pair of offset needle nose. Love those. Another pair of slip joints. These are uh, K36s. I have quite a few of those. So I will release a few more back into the wild. I do have two Dimaloy screwdrivers. Um, both of them slotted. Looks like uh, number one and a number two. Quite happy to have those. And, uh, you know, of course, my adjustables, my entrenching tool. Um, I've had a lot of help getting this stuff in the past. Uh, PD, Big Vic, um, you guys really helped me out with this stuff, and I truly appreciate it. A lot of this is really hard to find in my area, so. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Want to Watch. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be cleaning up this 20 inch pair of groove joint pliers from Dimaloy. And we're also going to be cleaning up this little four inch pair of slip joint pliers from Dime Malloy. You know, we, 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 we.